What is up? Everybody, welcome to the Burn Down YouTube channel. I want to do a quick what's happening video here uh, to cover something very special. And I didn't want to just post it on social media. I really wanted to show you guys around the thing. Um, and I've had a little bit of time to wrap my head around it. And I'm appreciative. And honestly, I am terrible uh, with expressions for the most part. If you guys haven't noticed, you've been watching me long enough. I do smile from time to time. I have a very dry sense of humor. Uh, I do get excited every now and then, but I don't get overwhelmed with stuff. You'll notice, like on race week, I was pretty stressed to the max. You probably didn't really notice that much, right? And then other times I get really excited about stuff when I have to say I'm excited. <laughs> That's kind of it. I've got some friends that are so animated and I love hanging out with animated people, but I know that I'm not over the top with, you know, my emotion doesn't match what I'm doing unless I'm jumping up and down high-fiving uh, for the most part. So. Um, I wanted to express how awesome this thing is and I really want to share with you guys here I want to put on video and then we'll post it up on social media as well when this video does drop so without further ado I got something special to show you guys uh, from one of my friends check this out all right BAM check this out so this is a clock that my friend Mike from Champion Cooling, right there, when I went down there, we did the, the road trip down there and we took Kane and everybody, he made this for me. So it is all laser cut and etched and engraved wood. There's multiple pieces layered and glued together. And then obviously it's painted to match. So you got the outline, you got the black, the logo and then the functioning clock and then you put a little champion on here and then uh, let me flip this thing around and be careful with this guy look at this he made all the line work did all the graphic work it is a freaking twin of bago it's a wooden one how rad is that and then we've got another champion cooling systems with a little clock and look at he wasn't even cheap he also got me an awesome battery <laughs> none of those harbor freight double a's over here look at he says burn down that is phenomenal. So this thing, I mean, you guys have all been more than generous. I've got some really cool stuff over the years, but this really is uh, outrageous to say the least. It is so nice. I really, I was like, man, this would be so cool in the Bago, but I'm so terrified that I'm gonna be a knucklehead and driving or the wind is, and this thing's gonna flop and fall and it is wood. So I would imagine you could obviously break the thing so we're gonna have to find a nice place to put it and i do not want it in here because this place uh gets trashed i'll show you you know you can see fuzz bunnies and you know granted this is given to me by a buddy too but this was made to, to kind of be in here um as for this you know this thing is spectacular so i wanted to extend a big giant thank you to mike from champion cooling systems i mean this thing I'm gonna hold it up one more time just because it is freaking awesome. You can get the size, you know, the size of this thing. Look at that thing. This thing is freaking killer, dude. So, yeah, he did all the graphics and everything, and he made this, and he made it for me, and I had no idea. I didn't send the logo or nothing. He pirated all my stuff and did a hell of a job. It turned out uh, beautiful. So thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, I did get a, a custom wooden pen as well. I still have that thing. And one day when I actually get to do autographs, that's the pen I'm going to use. So, uh, yeah, so that is really special and very cool. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I wanted to share that with you here, show it on video and show you uh, just how rad and awesome that thing is. So um, I've got something else. We got a bit of a mail time video as well. And I'm going to blame you guys for this. So let me grab this thing and then we're going to give you the quick backstory. We're going to open it. And uh, you guys are going to know what this is uh, pretty darn quick. So give me a second. Ah. Ha. Here it is. And um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this thing open on camera gracefully. But as you guys all are aware, at this point, if you follow along on the channel, then we have ourselves a new sponsor. And that sponsor is Kicker Audio. Well, we got a bunch of gear. We put it in the Twinnebago 
and <clears throat> we're gonna do some testing. I'm gonna try to figure out the mic situation. I don't have the greatest mics, but I will say this. You have to take my word for it. If it sucked, I would tell you guys if it was mediocre, I would say that too. I would be honest because it doesn't help me to lie to you guys and to have you go get stuff and then you try it out and you go, man, Dane was, Dane was full of it, right? <clears throat> I'm so impressed with the products that I put in the Winnebago, especially for it being the value line. Um, I overdid it on the components because I thought it'd be fun to go big, you know, and I want it loud and clean and clear. Well, I put so many components in there. Somebody on here said, you know what? You're probably gonna have to put more subwoofers in there, Dane, and you're gonna have to do more stuff than what you did. And I was thinking, no, this this 12, it'll keep up. You know, it's, it's just a few more extra components. How bad could it be? Well, um, I don't have my tool yet to tune it to full clipping to make sure we're not clipping, um, but we've cranked it up a little bit and the gain on the AB amp isn't that high because it's only pushing, you know, components and the subwoofer amp needed a little more juice to kind of keep up, right? So the sound uh, was balanced. So, called my guys over at Kicker, shot them a message and I said, look, your stuff is phenomenal. I'm a believer. Um, I am on board and I messed up because I think I need another sub to keep up. And I was like, I want this thing. It's impressive now, but I want it to be very impressive. And I said, I think a second sub would, would really hit home. So, uh, immediately they fired back. You got it. Let us, let us know what you need. We got you covered. And here we go. Here we are. Here we go. So let me see if we can get it out of here. We've got, ta-da, and it's upside down. Whoa. So, here it is. Boom. Let's see if you can see it. Ta-da. We got another 12-inch 4-ohm speaker enclosure. So, the amp that we have, uh, if you watch the video, is an 800-watt. Um, it was rated at 1-ohm like nine and some change. I got the born on sheet. Um, I don't know where it is later on here, but it did over 900 watts, but that's at one ohm at, if they don't measure it at four, they want to give you the, the max rating at RMS. So I'd imagine on the sheet, it says 300. So you're somewhere probably a little over 300 at four ohm. That's what we're pushing through that single 12 that's in there right now. The other components are getting um, probably about a hundred, maybe a little bit more per speaker in there. So there's kind of an imbalance. You got eight speakers and then one beating up on one 12 inch. So now that same amplifier is gonna power this. We're gonna wire these parallel. That'll drop each one of these speakers to a two ohm load, and that should net us around 600 RMS. Obviously the amp will probably push a little more to them, but that should help keep up, and then we can separate these. I can put this one, then we're gonna slide it under the table. So we'll have the front one firing back, and then the side one. Also too, um, we're gonna place it so it kind of can see out the door, so that way we can kind of get some of the sound outside of the Bago. So um, I couldn't be happier with the sound of this. I'm gonna show it off to everybody. I'd like to get some unsuspecting people and get honest reviews on it, so you don't just take my word for it, but it it's phenomenal, it, and it matches the Twin Bago perfectly because you are not expecting it. You walk in, it's not like there's speakers all in your face and everywhere. And you turn it up and it's just like the engine in the thing. You start going and you're like, oh, that's good. And then when it comes online, the turbos come online, everybody sits back and then they all giggle and go, I was not expecting that, this thing is awesome. And now we have an audio system that's gonna do the same thing. If you guys ever come out in person, you see me, I'm gonna have to put more batteries in the coach so we can bang on this thing when it's just parked so I don't drain my batteries. But we're gonna put this thing in there and do a little testing. And I will say, for it not being some SPL, crazy audio build right where we're co competing or anything like that but for what it is and what this thing does when you come out and you see me in an event ask me to go in there and turn it up we'll pick a few songs that play well through the the system and if you're not impressed i want to i want to know i want you to go in there and not smile and go yeah this is okay i i challenge any single person on here all 11,500 of you you come out and you see me we're going to turn this thing up and we'll give you a show and for the value line that this is, and you can see the size of the amps and speakers and everything that's in the Twinnebago, if you're not impressed, then uh, you're a hard nut to crack. That's all I gotta say. So, big shout out. Thank you very much, Kicker Audio. You guys are awesome. 
Um, Mike, Champion Cooling Systems, uh, I can't thank you enough, brother. That thing is really rad. The only thing I'm disappointed on, and it's funny because it's probably like some of the cars and things that I paint, is I'm afraid of it because it's so nice and I don't want to wreck it. So we're going to have to put it somewhere, but I'd like it somewhere to be seen. If I can figure out how to stick it to the wall in the Winnebago, that's really where I'd like this thing to live. Uh, but I got to be confident that it's not going to fly off uh, with me driving, um, you know, driving uh, the way that I drive the thing sometimes. And then with the wind, because when you open the blinds and stuff up, it starts whipping because it's hot in there. So we'll, we're going to pick a spot, but we'll get that put somewhere. And I want people to see that. I want them to see your work because that thing uh, is phenomenal as well. So you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. Till next time, I'm out.